Thank you very much. Welcome to the Saruna Prashna session. Especially today being the Sankranti, today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, where up you have the uh, Surya Bhagavan who enters into the northern direction. And he becomes uh, stronger to help the people upon the earth and everywhere because he develops uh, heat. He picks up heat and he gains the momentum and uh, more com complete momentum, complete direction, completeness comes to Sri Bhagavan on Ratha Saptami day, which happens to be on 28th this month, January, where there will be the diurnal path of Surya Bhagavan takes to northern direction. So Dachinayana and Uttarayana. So Dachinayana will end today and Uttarayana Punyakala, we call it. That would occur now on and slowly Surya Bhagavan gallops. And by Ratha Saptami day, the seventh day of the Mahamasam, Suklapatsam, he will become totally aware and empowered and so on. Therefore, today being almost Makar Sankranti or Bhogi, whatever it is, it is the opportunity for Surya Bhagavan to start the Uttarayana Kala, Punya Kala, and it is a Kala of gain. Hello, I will call you sometime. I wish you had. So we are in the, so an Aruna Prasna Parayanam would be done on Vrasaptami day and Surya Namaskaras are done. And actually the Aruna Prasna contains only 32 passages worth for 32 Namaskaras to Parya Bhagavan. 3 plus 2, 5. So these 32 Namaskaras, Surya Bhagavan is said to be Alankar Alhamin Namaskara Priyo Bhanuho. He is fond of uh, namaskara, very simple one, inexpensive one, non-luxurious one. So alanka, so namaskara is there. And I hope we can have, again, that uh, that Prasaptami uh, happened to be on Saturday. So we would have our session also, little more time, and then cover at least uh, the, up to what we have done. Let us plan for that uh, later on, because this is a Ratha Saptami, where Surya Bhagavan will be doubly happy on the day that he is uh, becoming promoted to the uh, Uttarayanam, that is, he comes to Makar Rasi. From Makara up to uh, uh, no, other six Rasis, uh, he will be gaining, gaining, gaining. And in when he comes to Mesha Rasi, he will be exalted for 14, I mean, for exalted. It is only from April 14 to May 14, the, uh, approximately. And at that time, the other people will celebrate their uh, New Year. Tamil New Year happens because they depend upon the Sauramana or Chandramana. So there's a lot of importance is there Aruna Prasna. So today, we are just having for a short time the Aruna Prasna, where we have stopped in the previous session that uh, the Rohini, the son of uh, uh, Rohini Rushi, Rohini Rushi, uh, Rohini Rushi, he has got a query and that who is that who is making sound in the heaven. So he becomes a Vasishtaha, Vasishta Gotra Bhavaha and he is just wants to know who is making sound in the sky and uh, then he got an answer Vasreva Vidyuditi that moreover in the previously Vajukto Vesho Vasagumsi Kala Avayavanam Mitaha Pratidya Vasatya Ityasvino Kontariche Sabdankar Vasatya Ityasvino means that the dress and ropes of the Ashwins are described and time is mentioned here and uh, the units of time which are called the members of the time measurement. Then the mythology of Ashwins uh, is also described a little because they don't give much information but we come to know that they are also very important because sun and sun's sons, as twins are taken to be the sons of uh, uh, twins of Surya Bhagavan and all that information we have been gathered and therefore we have got the answer to be a significant for the significant inquiry 
like cow that is uh, that is bellowing it. Uh, the lightning is producing sound and uh, was reva vidyutite. And that part we have covered. And now we are going into the next line. Brahmana Vudiranamasi, Brahmana Vudha Brahmana Vudaranamasi, Vudiranamasi, and Astaranamasi, Upastaranamasi. We have explained that these four uh, verbs will give you a beautiful uh, compliment that uh, the Ishtaka is being taken up to build the uh, Aruna Ketu Gagni uh, altar. And so the elected deity, Ishtaka, that is, Ishtaka means also elected deity. And that this is the probably origin for the Ishta Devata choice for every family in our Indian Hindu South tradition, that every, every family will have a Ishta Devata. And Ishtaka is the one which will fulfill your desire prominently. And so there is that selection of the deity. And moreover, this Ishta Devata will be able to grant all boons to us. And this passage is a prayer. And here, Udaranam, Udiranam, and Astaranam. These three points we have noted that ultimately it should be Upastarana, canopy to Brahman, to cover the Brahman. And it is a seat for the Brahman. <laughs> and the elected deity will have a uh, base for that. So like that, we have noted that. And soon after this kind of uh, uh, information that uh, the Aruna Prashna Rudi Rushi is giving, now he goes in to talk about the uh, Aditi. And uh, it's all about it. And Aditi, who is she? What is that condition? So that there are a particular passage, this particular passage, is a band to be heard by the pregnant woman for, for, for security purposes because these mantras will affect the coitus, the child in the womb. And uh, we want to protect because it is Surya Bhagavan, though is a positive and favorable God towards the delivery and also the growth of uh, beings and that, all that. But uh, somehow, I don't know the reason we have to find out. The reason is that they, it is not at all uh, good because they don't want the child that is coming into this world to face any untoward problems or happenings. <clears throat> Life must be continuously smooth and happy. And now, Ashtayoni, Ashtaputram, Ashtapatni, Mimamahim. Aham de daname mrutyu, nacham mrutyu ragha haratu chapandi. Yes, please. Yeah. Astayoni mushtaputram, astapatni mimam mahim. Aham meda, aham veda name mrutyu, nacham mrutyu ragha harat. Akha haratu, astayoni, mastapatram, astapatni, mamundivim. So the eight is an important number. And uh, that's why astau surya, you know that. Arogo, braja, patarap, patanga, swanaro, jyotishi, manna, vibhasa, te asmai, sarve, divamata, panti. Please recapitulate. So as Yamata Panti, they are providing light and luster, heat and energy to all the entire universe. So here we have got uh, Hiranya Purusha Pradhana Mantra is the title given. Hiranya Purusha is Prajapati. Now Ashtaputram Ashtayonim Ashtapatnim Imam Mahim. So this talking about this earth he is having the Ashta. Yoni, Ashtaputra, and Ashtapatni, Mima, she is there. So here, I know this earth bears within her the eight Mula Prakrutis. Mahadonkara also is said that Mahat is the ego, and there are the five uh, Tanmatras, the five sense organs, and then Mitra Varuna. So these are the eight uh, systems that Amma Bhudevi is having. And there are eight quarters also, 
and these eight lords are the authorities of the eight quarters. Therefore, he said that I realize the truth related to that owing to the powers of uh, mantra anushthana. See, aham veda name brutyuhu. So, aham veda means I am able to get hold of the knowledge about the Bhudevi. So, because I, be through my constant penance, aham veda means with the power of the Vedic recitation, Veda dhyena and Veda tapas. You understand? The Veda tapas, Veda dhyena, Veda parayana, Veda etc. All that put together. Aham Veda, because I happen to know about the earth, I have no fear of death in the sense that I would not be troubled by untimely death or grief. Therefore, I become liberated from the bondages. So here, Ashtaputram, having eight sons, Ashta, and Ashtapatni, Patni means lords, don't take wives. So Artha has got Pati Patni. And the pa is a palaka. Therefore, there are there, there are eight palakas, eight uh, rulers for the eight directions. That is earth. And uh, there is no death at all for me. And there is no untimely fall also. And all the sorrows are removed from that. Therefore, nacha amrutchu ragaharatu. So to say, here in symbolically, we understand that the poetess the child who has to make hay, having come upon the earth, must be protected in all respects. That's about the earth. Next again, we have got the uh, same thing repeated that aham veda name mrutyu, nacha mrutyu ragha haratu. Again, another set, the same one has come up, but this refers to the antariksham, puloka, antarikshaloka, and juloka. These are the in three lokas, there should be safety and security for that bhuhu, bhuvaha, and subaha. Now we are reading the second one that is Ashtayoni Mashtaputram Ashtapadi Dam Antarisham Ahamve Danabe Mrutyuhu Nacham Rutyuraka Haratu. So this means the knowledge derived from the Veda. The experience derived from the Vedic recitation or Veda tapas that is really highly powerful because those people who are adept, ad, adaptable or addicting to the Veda Anushtana or Veda Jena, they are always given healthy, comfortable, long life. That is the belief. Dirgha yutvanchamena mitranchame bhayamchame suganchame sayanamchame susachame sudhinanchame. So already we have been told in Ajurveda Samhita that dirgha yutvam, then that is to be followed by anamitram, abhayam, etc. as you know that. Therefore, here, yima yamum divam ashtapatnim ashtayoni vashtaputram. So these are the prakriti, the, the passage is repeated and the meaning is same as of the earlier, but Amu Diva is to be noted here, that is uh, related, relation to, with, with reference to the heaven. So Antariksham and Amu Diva. So here these three passages, as you see, Antariksham, Amu Diva. So those people who have that kind of uh, knowledge about the about the earth, metrician, and the heaven. All of such type of people will have a will have no problems and they will be comfortable upon the land. That's why Amu Divam and that is the promise. Ashtayoni, Ashtaputra, Ashtavanda. Okay, Ashta, Ashta, Ashta. Eight is an important number, as you know. Five also is important number, as you know. That's why Sankramana <coughs> hardly happens on 14th of January because 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. And Saptashwaradhamarudham prachandam kasyabhatmajam svetapatmadharam vande tam suryam pranamamyaham. So the Surya Bhagavan is having Saptashwa seven horses. 
and sapta sardama prachandam is a prachandam he turns to be prachanda right from the time he takes to northern direction <clears throat> that is he becomes he becomes stronger and doubly powerful when he goes to the north direction prachandam kasyapat majam he is the son of kasyap prajapati so that kasyap prajapati is being uh, father we have noted all about that information when you talk about the surya mandalam apasya mahave tat surya mandalam parivartamanam so you should see that our arunu prashna is building up uh, like like in ladder to the maximum extent where you it merges into aruna ketaka agni and upasana of that aruna ketaka agni will give you all benefit that's why in the last portion of the aruna prashna you have also again some information about the creation how the creation comes into being and uh, before creation actually started who was earlier than that so the tata is uh, the brahma says i am earlier no the tata is says that is kurma avatar of uh, mahavishnu he it says that i was first at, at first therefore like the, the i mean to say that everything is corrected uh, now next line you have seen that <coughs> yeah it's next line tells you sutra manam mahi mushu ashtapatnim aham vedana me mrutyu and uh, next we have got that adi dharma no no the, before this mantra i have in my text sutra manam mahi mushu who is the one line i don't know it is it is missing in the text that projected on the screen here uh yeah please ha uh, uh, yeah, ashtapat no, no please go up ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ so mm -hmm. uh, before just aham vedana me mrutyu vishve deva iti alide ha correct because i did not find nacha amrutyu ragha yes nacha amrutyu ragha haratu that's good so you again andre namge untimely death would not come when surya bhagavan takes care of us kal chakra pravartaram surya narayanam bhaje we say that the kala chakra pravartaka because he is important member and he is the agent to get the thing revolving and revolving therefore surya bhagavan prayer suryo pasakas like our sri our govind and rama emanor and all people are all surya pasakas otherwise you don't sit on the table talking about the uh, surya bhagavan because he is narayana who is surya bhagavan he is a narayana what do you mean by narayana simply resource of all knowledge and so much so that surya has given one ajurveda sukla ajurveda where from this ajurveda sukla ajurveda came yani yatayamani na yani shuklani um, tani prasadaya yagnavalkya asked surya bhagavan then he appeared i don't want to have a already existent ajurveda i want a fresh new ajurveda that's so that's what is called shukra ajurveda maybe there are other mantra mantra other mantras could be there because veda rasi is only classified by vyasa bhagavan by vyasa maharshi and therefore he gets the title as a veda vyasa vyasa actually means editor he was the chief editor of all the floating mass of mantras which was just being revealed 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 and revealed to various rishis so there later on they try to classify because without classification we will be confused when there is a classification when there is a proper division when there is subdivision then we are it is easy for our administration that's exactly what you call as town planning veda veda mantra planning so when you know the town planning how the govindavare 
So yes, when town planning, you know, it is easy for uh, spotting the uh, points in the town. That's exactly what Hanuman has done. When he when he landed night, he used to get the knowledge about the Lanka town planning in the moonlight and starlight. So by the time he saw Sita Devi and cart and brought uh, to before the Ramanasra, he has absolutely very good town planning knowledge. And when he was uh, his tail was lit uh, and uh, paraded in the streets of Rakshasas and uh, with all, then he had scope to have the town planning confirmation about uh, during the daytime, sun time. So thereby, sun and moon have helped Anjaneya to have total picture of the town planning. Same manner, here also, we any Vedic student, because of his Anushtana, he would be able to cover knowledge regarding the earth, mid-air, and, and divam. Therefore, and what is the use when you do that kind of tapas? The simple use is that Parasuti Andre Nami Mrutyu. Mrutyu does not mean the death, it means the injury, impediments, obstacles <coughs> that will make you unhappy. Therefore, Nami Mrutyu, and I, I don't have any more sin to add to that. Therefore, Rutramanam Mahi Musho. The <coughs> Sutra Manam Mahi Mushuho is a part, remembering, <coughs> following that expression, Vaiswanaro Nariya Pascha. So we have some more mantras already occurred in this Arana uh, Prasna. So we have, if you just go back to the pages, you will get that uh, Sutra Manam Mahi Mushu. That is, uh, <coughs> Indra is a Sutra Man. Sutraman means well protected, well rejuvenated. And Indra was only known as a Satakratu, uh, yeah, and all those names were there for Indra, the king of gods. But when he fought with Vritrasura, uh, so much, uh, <coughs> and with uh, nine days and nights, and ultimately, <coughs> the Vajrahira killed him. And by the time, the, the Vritrasana not only simply died, but he caused multiple injuries and uh, uh, breakages to the body of Indra. Therefore, all gods felt very unhappy, though they got victory over Vritrasana, that the chosen hero of all gods is broken with multiple fractures and with multiple problems and all that. Then they designed a hospital and uh, Paramedical workers, all gods, some gods became paramedical workers, some became surgeons, some became physicians. Saraswati became a goddess. The goddess Saraswati, she became a nurse, ready doctor, and all that happened. And now, who is this Aditi? We have got this local. Aditi play Aditir Jaur Aditir Antarik Sham Aditir Mata Sapita Saputraha. Yes, Aditir 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 Antarik Sham Aditir Aditir Mata Aditir Mata Sapita Naputraha. Vishwe Deva Aditihi Vishwe Deva Aditi Pancha Jana Aha. Aditir Jatam, Aditir Janityam, Janitvam. So this line, I know, stop here, let us uh, analyze. Aditi is the mother of all gods. Diti is the mother of all Rakshasas. Both of them are the wives of Kasyava Prajapati. And that is positive or negative are generated by, a, by an individual. Kasyapa is the father. Aditi, Diti are the two wives. Means that positive and negative. So every person has got positive and negative in him. But the character and conduct and other circumstances make the individual to become a positive man 
optimistic person or negative man. Therefore, and here, this Aditi is Akasha, Antariksha, she is Mata, she is Pita, she is Son, and she is Vishwedevaha, and Panchajana, and she is a Jatam, Aditi, and she is Janitra. So I think with great more interest, I would explain this loka. Often it is found everywhere. Because Aditi has been attributed with any and everything, and which uh, I will explain next. Today I have got to go to temple now. Yes, okay. So I, I cannot miss the Surya Bhagavan's uh, prayer. So we have done up 